Welcome. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to add post view to your post on WordPress website. Post view are wonderful functionality that should be on your post and your pages so that you can know and be able to quantify how much traffic you're getting to your post. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you three simple steps that will help you add this functionality into your WordPress website. So if you're ready, let's get started. To be able to add post view to a WordPress website, to be able to add post view functionality to a WordPress website, we are going to go through three simple steps in doing so. Number one, to install WP post view plugin. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I come to my plugin section of my WordPress dashboard and then I click on add new. Then I come to the search plugin bar here and type in WP dash post view and click on enter. All right, this is going to be the option that we're going to go for WP post view. And as you can see, this has over 100,000 active installations and it has almost a five star rating. So this shows you that this is a nice plugin to use for this purpose. So let's click on install now. And then let, let's click on activate. Once our new plugin has been activated, we go to settings section here and look for post views. We click on post views. All right, here we're going to be tweaking just a little bit of settings to our wordpress plugin so that it can give us a desired result so we come to post view from and click on the drop down button and select everyone okay once we do this we're going to leave every other thing as it is and then we click on save changes Okay, once this is done, we move to the second step in our process and that is we're going to add a little bit of a snippet code into our WordPress website. Don't worry, it's a very simple process. Just follow me as I do so. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is that we go to our posts and view our post metadata. So let's click on view. I'm going to do that in a new tab. Alright, so this is the post I'm using just as a demo post for the sake of this tutorial. So the next we want to come is that you're going to highlight this metadata here. That's the date here. Okay, once you do that, you right click on your mouse and click on inspect. What we want to do here is that we want to know the name of our metadata. So you follow me. All right, once you're here, automatically our span class is going to be highlighted as you can see it on the metadata that we just highlighted here. So what we want to do here is that we want to look for the name of the div class of, of our post metadata. So what you do is that from here, you just keep pointing your arrow upward until we get to our div class. All right, so you can see what I have here. You can see the div class once I point at it. You will see that our metadata and our post title has been highlighted so we want to take note of this div class name as you can see here now there is every possibility of course that your own name will not be exactly what i have on mine so just make sure that you highlight this name and note it somewhere all right once you note that somewhere we're going to go ahead and had that snippet code in our function.php file so once you have noted this like i have here let's go back to our wordpress dashboard okay once you're here you come to appearance and then you scroll down to team editor and click on it Okay, once you are here, you're going to select your team. I am using DV. I'm sure you might be using some other team. It doesn't matter. 
all you want to do is you want to come to functions.php here and click on it okay once you're here you're going to scroll down and come to single post.php like we have here single.php all right you click on that all right so now we're going to look for the name like we have here my div class name here we're going to look for it here in the single post.php so i'm going to scroll down and look for that div class all right this is where i find mine now if you check this let me highlight it you can see the post meta wrapper that we have here if you do the same here you can see that we have the post meta wrapper here okay so that is what i am looking for so once i get there i'm going to come here and enter a new line and then i'm going to post my line of code into this place now if you check the link in the description below this video you will see the snippet code that i am going to be posting here so go ahead copy the snippet code and make sure you post it here accordingly so i will go ahead and do mine now so once i do that i will go to update file and update my file which is the third step and once i do this then my whole process is completed so let me go back to my post once again i'm going to close this all right so i'm going to refresh my post and let's see if we're going to have a view our post views all right as you can see we have it already here two views here already all right so this is how to do that i'm sure it's very simple just go ahead and do it and um if you check my next tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can format this metadata to make it look more beautiful than this thank you very much if you if you want to learn more on how you can use wordpress plugins to increase or to improve the functionality of your wordpress website then consider subscribing to this channel please i also wanted to support my youtube channel by helping me like this video so that people who need tutorials like this can see it thank you very much and see you in my next video tutorial